Good day everyone. In today's video I'm going to do a quick discharge test on this Hansink uh, Life PO4 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. If you're interested, stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, I just want to start it off by saying this is not a full-blown review. I'm not going to do a teardown of this battery or anything like that. I've been using it with my uh, Minn Kota 12 volt 50-pound uh, uh, trust uh, trolling motor and then I had, had no issues. But I decided I wanted to do a quick discharge test. It did have a couple cycles on it already, this battery does. And I just wanted to see what uh, we could get out of it there. So for today's test, what uh, I am using is... Uh, uh, King Queen uh, uh, battery discharger. Uh, uh, battery is fully charged. It's sitting at 14.27 uh, uh, to kind of keeps jumping around there. So it's fully charged. I did charge it up to 14.4. It kind of settled down a little bit there. And uh, now I'm just going to run a quick discharge test. Uh, for the settings I'm using, I'm going to run it at 10 amps up until the BMS shuts it down. So the uh, shut off is not set on my discharger. It's gonna go all the way down to zero. So the BMS will shut down this pack as, uh, as soon as it reaches the uh, bottom of, end of this capacity. Uh, so anyways, uh, to start it, I just do set and turn it on. And uh, yep, it's running at uh, 10 amps. Uh, voltage sagged a little bit. That's pretty normal when you start pulling the load. And uh, yeah, at 10 amps, it's uh, giving me 0.1C of this pack. So. Uh, it will discharge in about 10 hours and uh, yeah, I'll let it run and then I will bring you guys back as soon as it's done. All right, it's the next day and the test is done and the big reveal and we got 92.46 uh, amp hours. That's uh, not very great, honestly. I thought it would be closer to 100 or maybe even a little bit over, but no, we are about 8%, 7.6. 5-4% uh, less than uh, rated capacity, which is not great considering that this battery only has a couple cycles and has been manufactured just about like three months ago. The date of manufacture is 250501, so it's only like three, three months old with a couple cycles on it and uh, it's already testing quite a bit uh, less than its rated capacity. Anyways, uh, I hope uh, this uh, helps somebody uh, make their decision and whatnot. And I'm not, like I was telling earlier, I'm not tearing this battery apart or anything. I'm going to be using it. And uh, the, the cells could be out of balance. That's why they are uh, testing a little less. I actually decided to recharge the battery back up and I left 14 and a half volts on it for about a day to kind of let uh, BMS balance uh, the cells in there uh, just to see if it will help or not there. Uh, so I do have 14.4 volts on the battery pack right now and I'm going to do another discharge test just to see if that uh, changes anything. There we go. Nope, still the same result. Alrighty, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.